Hi, today we're going to have a look at the topic of square numbers. We need to know what they are, how we calculate them, and it will be really useful if we can also learn to memorise a few of the common ones. I hope you find this useful. You may have noticed that sometimes we have a number that has another smaller number written at the top corner there. Now, this little number has a mathematical name and it goes by the name of the indices. That is a really good name to remember because it's something that we will be using in other parts of maths. However, they also have a far more exciting name because we also call them powers. So, what does an indices mean? Well, let's look at the example we've got here. It's a six, but the number we need to concentrate on is the little three there. And what that three is telling us is that we take the six and we multiply it by itself one, two, three times. So six to the power of three is six times six times six. So giving another example, if it was four to the power of five, we would take that four and one, two, three, four, multiply it, one, two, three, four, five times. So what's this got to do with square numbers? Well, quite simply, a number that has a two at the top is called a square number. So seven to the power two, we also call it seven squared. And that means seven times seven. So seven squared equals 49. Now that 49, because it is seven squared, we call it a square number. You will find it really useful if you can learn or memorise some of the more common square numbers. And I think a really good way of doing it is simply by using a good old times tables grid. I'm sure some of you are familiar with this. If you want to multiply 5 by, say, uh, 7, then you would simply look at 5 and 7, bring them together, and you've got 35. So again, 8 times 11 move it along there, bring it down there, and you've got 88. So that's good for learning your timetables in general. But what is useful in quite a lot of these times table grids, you will see that running from the top left down to the bottom right are numbers in yellow. Now, if you look at them more closely, you will see that this one is 2 times 2. In other words, it's 2 squared. And this one, 4 times 4. 7 times 7. So these are the square numbers all the way up to 12. If you can memorise them, great for confidence and saves you time in tests and exams. And that's just about it as far as square numbers is concerned. We will come across indices again when we look at order of operations, which is in the video on my right hand side. If you have enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button and uh, have a look at some of my other videos. Thank you very much.